welcome to gpat explorer myself manavendra in this lesson i would like to discuss about beta lactam antibiotics those antibiotics which have this beta lactam ring as a core chemical structure are known as beta lactam antibiotic now let's see what is actually this beta lactam ring and why is this ring is called beta lactam ring now beta lactam ring is this why is this ring called beta lactam ring you know the lactam ring that refers to cyclic amide now this is a cyclic amide now beta lactam ring this is that four membered four membered cyclic amide why is this called beta lactam you know the carbon next to carbonyl group is designated as alpha then this is beta and thus this ring is known as beta lactam ring one thing you should know about this that is you know four member ring contain one nitrogen that is acetidine ring here one keto group is present in this acetidine ring and that is why this ring is also known as as a t d non ring <clears throat> now antibiotics those are having this ring as a core structure are known as beta lactam ring now the beta lactam antibiotics first discovered that is penicillins the penicillins are the first class of beta lactam antibiotic and after discovery of penicillin the next beta lactam antibiotics which discovered that is cephalosporin and after cephalosporin another beta lactam antibiotic was discovered that is carbapenem and then monobactam now first come to the penicillins the naturally obtained penicillin which was used clinically that is penicillin g if you look through the structure of penicillin g that is like this and for penicillin g this r group is
benzyl group and this penicillin G is also known as benzyl penicillin now in case of penicillin G which one is beta lactam ring this is beta lactam ring and there are so many compounds after penicillin G was discovered which are used as antibiotics by modifying this R group such as ampicillin, amoxicillin, bicampicillin, carbenicillin, ticarcillin, etc. And after penicillin, the next class of beta-lactam antibiotics is cephalosporin. Now, the discovery of cephalosporin that is from cephalosporin C. Now, the cephalosporin C basically is not used clinically. What is the importance of this cephalosporin C? The cephalosporin C is the basis of cephalosporin antibiotics. Now, what is the importance of cephalosporin C? If you look through the activity of penicillin G, that penicillin G is effective against gram-positive bacteria. That means you can say that penicillin G has narrow spectrum of activity. While in case of penicillin cephalosporin C, activity of this compound is mainly directed to gram negative bacteria. And another thing, if you compare the potency of cephalosporin C with that of penicillin G, you will find that cephalosporin C is very, very less potent than penicillin G. But activity of cephalosporin C is mainly directed to gram negative bacteria. Thereafter, there are so many cephalosporin derivatives are discovered which are also used clinically such as cephalexin, cephotaxim, cephixim, etc. Now, if you look through the structure of cephalosporin, that is cephalexin, that This is the general structure of cephalosporin antibiotics and for cephalexin this X is methyl group and this R is this. Now, in cephalosporin structure, this is what? Beta-lactam ring. Next class of beta-lactam antibiotics, that is carbapenems. 
Now, if you compare the penicillin, cephalosporin, and carbapenems, penicillins and cephalosporins are most researched beta lactam antibiotic compared to carbapenems, monobactam, etc. But the importance of carbapenem is that spectrum of activity is much, much greater than penicillin cephalosporins. It is generally said that carbapenems have wide, carbapenem have broadest spectrum of activity of all beta lactam antibiotics. The example of carbapenem derivatives such as imipenem, meropenem, etc. Now, if you look through the structure of imipenem, that is That is the structure of imipenem where R group is NH, CH, NH, CH, double bond, NH. This is R group for imipenem. Now again in this structure, this is what? we call beta lactam ring now the next class of beta lactam antibiotic is monobactams monobactams that only contain this beta lactam this only contain this beta lactam ring this is ma and this is what r and this is the structure of monobactam antibiotics and the compound is As there are very few monobactam antibiotics which reaches to the clinic and astrionum is one of them. For astrionum, this R is For astrionum, the R is like this. <coughs> so, these are different class of beta lactam antibiotics. And for all classes, we find the beta lactam ring as a core structure now the beta lactam antibiotics at a glance for more video lessons you can log on to gpet explorer.com